In this video, I'm going to show you my quick and simple process for analyzing backlinks uh, and choosing keywords that I want to rank for. So as you can tell, I have three tabs open here. I have the Word Tracker and free tool, which is at freekeywords.wordtracker.com. And I'm looking here at Elvis ringtones. That's the uh, keyword phrase I'm researching. So I've chosen uh, Elvis Presley music ringtones here with 110 searches a day. That's uh, approximate searches across the major search engines. So the first thing that I do is I go to Google and I actually search for Elvis Presley music ringtones. I actually search the keyword phrase. And I look at the results here in Google. Uh, and what I notice here is the first three, because I want to rank in the top three. That's always my goal. So that's the only thing that I look at. I never look at this number. I'm not competing with the total number of results. I'm only competing with the, the with the top three. So the first thing that I notice just right off the top of my head is that you have uh, MTV.com and VH1.com in the number two and number three spots for this particular keyword phrase. And interesting to note is that an article submitted at EasyArticles.com outranks both of those sites and ranks number one. So what we want to know is how many backlinks they have so that we can tell um, how many backlinks we would need in order to outrank them for this particular keyword phrase. So what I'm going to do is click on the number one result there at ezinearticles.com. I go up here to the address bar and simply copy the address, the URL of that web page. Next I go to yahoo.com and in the search bar there I type in the link command which is link colon and then simply paste in the URL. We click search and this is immediately going to take you to Yahoo Site Explorer and tell you how many inbound links that page has. As you can see, they only have a total of two inbound links, so it shouldn't be hard at all to outrank this article at easingarticles.com for that. However, I think that could be a little bit misleading because Google will tend to um, let's say maybe rank an article for a little while like rank and tank so I also just kinda wanna take a look at the number two and number three results real quick this is mtv.com which we would consider to be an authority on anything music so interestingly though you'll notice that the title bars here are not exactly uh, optimized for the four word phrase Elvis Presley music ringtones like the easing articles listing is so you'll notice that with both the number two and the number three, but let's take a look. Again, we just click through the number two result here. Then we copy the URL out of the address bar. Go over to Yahoo Site Explorer, and we'll just go back to yahoo.com. Type in the link command. Paste in the URL. And now we see they have 5,278 inbound links. Those are a lot of those, as you can see, are mtv.com, so those are internal links from their own domain. So I'm going to use the uh, drop down box here to say accept from this domain, and we'll see that they only have 57 inbound links to that particular page from other domains. So I want to go back and do that again for the number three result. So far, the, the, the most inbound links is 57 um, and, and of course only two for the number one result there. So I'm going to click on this third result at vh1.com well that one's taking a second to load, huh? I'll fix a cup of coffee While we're waiting on that to load, we'll go back over here to Yahoo. And the interesting thing about this is that, and I'll scoot this over here so you can see a little bit better, um, is that you can actually click through any of these URLs, or you can copy and paste them or click through here. Um, I prefer to just copy and paste them and look at them, but you can actually analyze each of these inbound links. Uh, one of the most important things is to see how many unique domains are pointing to that particular page. Uh, because they might have a lot of uh, links like see here for example you have the subterranean blog is linking to it more than once so that's double and that would count mostly as one and then you can actually uh, look at each of these pages and see whether or not they're using that four word phrase in the anchor text and that'll give you a much better idea of exactly how many quality inbound links you would need to outrank them obviously not many if 
you can get an easy articles article talent rank them. So again, we're going to go back here to the number three result, copy the URL, and I'm going to go back to Yahoo again. <coughs> So again, we just type in link colon and then paste in the URL there. Click web search, that takes you straight to Yahoo Site Explorer. So here you see that the VH1 link, which was the third result, um, their page on VH1.com was the third result for that phrase, has um, 1,642 end links. Again, that a lot of those are VH1.com, those are internal links, so I'm going to see how many accept from this domain. So that's going to show me backlinks from other domains, and it's 51. And so without even analyzing these links to see if they're quality links, uh, to see if there are a lot of duplicates, like again, <clears throat> here again you have the student-subway.com, so there's a lot of duplicates there as you can see. Um, and so without analyzing these links any further, I could assess that, um, I, you know, it, it wouldn't take any more than 50 or so inbound links to outrank them permanently without the rank and tank effect. Um, but of course, as you can see uh, from the Google search here, an easy articles uh, properly optimized article submitted there outranked them both with just a couple of inbound links. So in just a couple of minutes there, just a few short minutes, I've determined that I could easily rank for that phrase, which as you can see, gets over 100 searches a day.